Hey there, it's me again. And in this video, I want to go through the five steps that will help you to assign yourself a value for the services that you are going to launch, whether that is because you launched a business before and when you want to expand and you want to grow more, or if you are still in the process of planning your amazing new business. It is really important that you understand how is it that you are going to get paid or else you are going to find yourself giving away your value, letting money on the table, and then not really claiming your worth. And um, sooner than later, you're going to start doubting if this is something that you should be pursuing. And I don't want that. I definitely want you to be successful. And if there's something that I can tell you from the many years that I've been as an entrepreneur is that, you know, the key here is to have clarity on your vision and have that belief. Um, once you have those two in alignment, you know, the possibilities are endless. I truly believe that. I'm a living testimonial that that is the case. Now, obviously, um, we don't want to get too much into the details, but at the same time, it's not that we are going to run a business blindly, correct? So the, the, the medium point between trusting the process and, uh, and going blind and just going with the flow, it's actually in the numbers. And what I want with this tool is to give you an opportunity to kind of walk through the different expenses that you will have so that you consider the cost of running your business. Once you know that, actually, I hope that you realize that it is doable, especially if you are going to create services and packages that will be on the high end. That is key as we have learned, right? Again, I'm gonna tell you the example. You can make a million dollars by selling to a million people a product that is $1, or you can make a million dollars by finding a thousand people that will purchase from you one package that is a thousand dollars. And we are advocators that that is the best way. So um, when you walk through this spreadsheet, I'm gonna tell you that um, I'm gonna give you the, the option to edit. Just please do not touch where you see red because that means that there is a formula included and you don't want just to work harder. So here in the step number one is calculating your expenses. And uh, maybe if, if you, like I, I'm not here to, to bring this to um, the tax level, right? I mean, I don't, I don't want you to think, oh, you know, I don't have these expenses now, those expenses were from last year, or I'm not gonna have those expenses now. You know, um, the purpose of this is to come up with the real, as much as possible, the real cost of you owning your business. So I listed potential um, expenses and costs that are associated with establishing your business, okay? Now, all of them or most of them are sex self-explanatory, but I hope that by now you have booked our strategy session so that I can help you in any questions that you have when you are completing these, uh, these documents, right? So step number one, expenses. If you have questions about it, just you know, let me know. Step number two can be a little bit tricky because now it's when you are going to calculate how much is that you want to get paid. And that might bring a couple of questions like, um, I don't know, <laughs> um, I don't know where to start. Well, you know, um, if you don't know where to start, depending on your industry, you can just do research and see how much in average people um, with your degree, with your credentials and with your experience get paid, okay? So that's a good way to start. Now, um, however, obviously we have expenses. Um, in my case, one thing that happened when I jumped into um, transitioning from being an attorney to owning my, my practice as a coach, um, I found myself in a debate because my expenses as a lawyer were very, very high. So um, 
coming up with a number that um, could help me replace my law firm was going to be a bit of a stretch, but I will tell you that I replaced my law firm income in three years, within three years of starting my business. And I didn't do it alone. I needed to hire a coach because it was really, really, um, I would say, um, if I could find a word, um, it brought a lot of tension and it was giving me a lot of anxiety because I needed to see results faster. Um, now, I hope that you are not in that situation. I hope that you have the chance to plan. And, you know, in my case, I, I lost everything, right? So when you lost everything, um, there's really not too much that you could plan. Um, so yeah, compensation is basically how much you want to get paid. Um, now here is where you're going to bring the number from your expenses because you want to get paid, but also you need um, to have money to run your business. So, um, or else you're going to find, yeah, you make revenue, but um, revenue is not equal to profit, right? So um, that's why we want to calculate your take at home pay, and you will see in the formula, it considers the expenses plus how much you want to get paid. Your revenue goal, it's going to be basically determined by those two um, categories. And that is how much you need to generate in sales. Um, that's gross sales. So when we are lining up your um, offers, your services, your packages, even your online courses that you want to create and produce, we need to consider that number from set number three in mind. So it will be this one. In this particular example is $177,000. So that means 177 clients. If we are packaging a product that is $1,000, you see, it's really doable if you just consider, you know, the numbers in that way. Now, um, here is step number four. Step number four, it's going to be the cost associated with that particular service. Now, we already calculated how much you need in order to you know, put your business up, how much you need in order to replace your income. Now, you're going to um, assign particular numbers associated with the direct production of the service that you want to create. So let's say, for example, that you want to create a course. Um, you are going to use step number four and then assign the direct cost associated with that particular product. Now, the time that you invest in creating that product and all the labor and all the you know, people that you hire and all of that, they're all gonna be factored in the production towards that service. And that is going to help you assigning a number towards that vertical or that offer, right? So when we use this example, um, you know, let's say that you want to create a course and you need five hours of your time plus some expenses. Um, so creating a course, it's going to cost you, you know, $524. So how much do you sell that for? You will tell me, well, you know, I only will invest five hours in creating the course. The rest is in automation. Um, I will actually avoid <laughs> um, and I will stay away from assuming that because when you um, launch a practice that you're providing services online, um, you might think like people might want to make you believe that the, the things that we do online um, are like set it and forget it. No, you still will factor time. You know, you need to provide a service. You work with humans. So factor that, please, because, you know, you might find yourself disappointed if you're thinking that you are going to provide services without ever, um, you know, touching those services that you create online. So um, when we factor the price, we are going to consider your cost, the time that you will invest on each particular client, right? And then that is going to give you the opportunity to decide what is going to be the profit margin that you want to have. And that actually... It is a number that will help you to create several campaigns, for example, make decisions about marketing, decisions about, you know, hiring um, um, freelancers or even hiring an agency. Um, because here's, here's a way to see this, for instance, in this case, if you create a package that costs you $500, but you sell it for $2,600, you have $2,000 in profit. Maybe you need to hire a copywriter. 
and that copywriter is going to generate more sales for you. Is it worth to pay the $2,000 in creating an amazing, you know, beautifully done sales page? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. But you will not be able to see these, these numbers like this until you run um, these numbers and really um, have those, those you know, particular figures in front of you so you can see the big picture. Um, so after that, um, I put you here, thoughts to ponder. So what is the most doable way to reach your revenue goal? Um, can you build packages to make your services more attractive? Can you create paid content? What will be the difference between paid content and free content? Are your services targeting the same audience? What impact, what is the impact of your targeting strategy in your overall marketing budget? Those are important questions that you need to ask. And when we meet, we will be discussing that. Now, now it's going to be the time for you, again, to make that decision, whether you want to, you know, book that session where you and I can see where you are. Or, you know, I will say this, if you want more information um, already on how can I help you directly and work with you towards creating the business that is going to allow you to live the life you, live, you, you want to live, um, certainly just reply to this email and I'm more than happy to send you that information so you can see the program, you can see accelerators, you can see the reviews, the testimonials and all of that, all right? So yeah, now the poll is in your court, my friend. Bye for now.